How to build Ansible AWX in Docker containers? AWX is the open source upstream project of the Ansible Automation Controller, included in Ansible Automation Platform, formerly Ansible Tower. Running in Docker container to use the modern web UI and API interface. Running in Docker containers is recommended only for experienced user and developer. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Ansible AWX is the upstream project of Ansible Automation Controller formerly Ansible Tower, providing a modern web UI and API interface to manage Ansible playbooks, inventories, credentials, vaults between your team in your organization. Running AWX in local Docker container allows you to test the AWX web UI and API to easily manage Ansible Playbook execution. AWX running Docker is considered for testing or development only. The preferred way is via the AWX operator since version 18.0. This initial configuration sometimes is a roadblock for some Ansible AWX users. Ansible AWX support only x86 underscore 64 operating system, Fedora, the maintained version, Ubuntu LTS or 20.04 or 22.04, in this case Ansible uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8 plus and CentOS Stream 8 Plus, and also macOS 11. And now, demo time. How to build Ansible AWX in Docker containers? I'm going to show you how to build the latest AWX, Ansible AWX, in the latest Fedora using Docker containers and latest receptor image. The additional software must be installed, open SSL library, well, every modern system has open SSL, Ansible, wow, seems a great requirement, and Docker. We need Docker to run an, uh, a container. Ready to go? See us inside on the terminal. Welcome to my terminal. First of all, let me connect via SSH DevOps as username in my fedora.example.com machine. This is a freshly installed system with Fedora 36, the latest available. Let me first of all verify that Docker is not installed. So first of all, let me add the external repository to install it. This is the official procedure that is also recommended by Docker. So basically you copy and paste and uh, you install the latest available version of Docker C, the community edition. I'm not a great fan of Docker, but it's a great technology and is required by Ansible AWX. I prefer Podman instead. You know, the Red Hat implementation that uh, is rootless. So after a while, all the packages are going to be downloaded. Let me confirm the GPG fingerprint and the latest available version of the Docker SC is going to be installed. Okay, just in a blink of an eye, all the required packages are installed in our system. Another step is to actually start the daemon, the Docker daemon that uh, run on this machine. One simple way to verify that everything is perfectly running is to use the Hello World uh, container to verify that the Docker is actually running in our system, and it is. 
So let me double check also that Docker Compose is installed. Oh, well, PIP is not installed, so let me fix it out. Let me install Python 3-PIP. PIP is the Python package manager, so it's good to have installed. And now we can use a Docker Compose. Docker Compose is an external utility that is very helpful to install additional uh, packages and is one of the requirements. Well, oh, well, we have a problem downloading from the main repository and PAP is tried the secondary. Don't worry. As well, also, it's taking care of all the required dependency. Now, let me install also Ansible. This is going to install the latest version 5.9 in our Ansible, in our Fedora machine. Everything is included in the system repository, so we don't need to add anything more. So everything is super smooth. Let me see. And now we are ready to go. This one was only the preliminary step. Now we are ready for the real Ansible AWX installation. First of all, let's verify together the status of a Docker service that must be active and running. And it is in this workstation. So now let me disconnect and make sure that this user has a Docker permission. Now, finally, we can clone the official Ansible AWX repository. Uh, the branch name, this one with WB, is 21.6.0, that is the latest version. You can find out easily in GitHub. And now we are cloning the GitHub repository. This command is available also in uh, the installation guide. It's going to take a while because it's downloading more or less 320 megabytes at the moment. So it depends by the performance of your workstation and your network. My connection is pretty fast, so in a blink of an eye, I have all the files in my system. So Git is taking care of downloading all the files and make sure that everything is ready to go. So I'm using Git clone to clone a repository that is online and I specified the full URL https github.com Ansible AWX. This is the official repository. And I specified the specific version, the latest released 21.6.0. You can specify also another one, for example, 25.5 or whatever you want. Now everything is ready on disk. So let me list the content of the current directory with ls to verify that the file are present. And we have AWX directory. Let me also uh, verify the size, 322 megabyte. Ready to go, let's enter in the AWX folder and start the building process with a make command. So there is a make file and a specific command for creating the container is make docker-compose-build. This is going to trigger an Ansible playbook that is taking care of all the building process. The building process is quite long. For example, in my workstation, it took 17 minutes. Uh, so I'm going to speed up a little bit the video because otherwise it will be boring. Basically, it's downloading all some, some container from uh, the online website. And as you can see, the time is really getting faster and faster. Is downloading some file for CentOS 9 and is creating basically the container from scratch. So everything is getting built inside the container and all the needed uh, dependency are downloaded at the moment. You can see that it's getting super fast, but uh, I can uh, reassure that uh, on the top left there is a real second and was taking longer and longer for me. I was just waiting, having a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, whatever you like, 
and uh, we need to wait till uh, 1000 seconds this is the time that my work station took for building this uh, amazing Ansible AWX this is the latest version so you the time may vary based on the performance of your network and the performance of your machine as you can see there are 48 steps to accomplish we are currently at step 21 that is taking some time is actually downloading some python dependency and uh, yes as you can see everything is downloaded and uh, stored in the current directory uh, this playbook is taking care of all necessary steps so we don't need to do anything basically Kali only waiting for the completion is downloading podman this is important for running the container and at the end we get this prompt on the machine this certify that uh, the build was done and we can see any error so was successful yay great result you are probably questioning yourself how we can verify that image was successfully created well with docker images we are going to list the available images as you can see the awx underscore the well is was built at 35 minutes ago i was spending some time uh, but this is the latest build and uh, verify that also there is a uh, ansible receptor image these two images are very important as well also the dependency such as postgres and redis so everything is ready to go yay good job ansible awx is built now we are ready to start having fun! Yay! Now you know how to build Ansible AWX in Docker containers. Thank you for watching and I hope now you are ready for the next level of using Ansible AWX in your notebook or server whatever so stay tuned and see us on the next lesson of ansible pilot and have a great day yay this video is part of our ansible automation program sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun